G'day scrappers, welcome to a what is it video. Um, I don't get to do many of these what is it kind of things because I don't get stuff that I can't really, really have no idea what it is. Um, let me get it out. So obviously it's uh, it's brand new in box, so uh, it's pretty cool. Okay. So, apparently, what it is, well, that I that I know. It's a Flight Strata G. It's some kind of uh, um, camera or something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, um, it's an optical, laser optical camera um, or uh, like a telescope kind of thing, but not really there. I've seen a video that I couldn't understand because it was in um, Dutch, but uh, they're kind of mounted on um, on stands and uh, sitting at airports and places like that. So you know it's a flight strategy. So I'm I'm guessing it's a, a camera kind of thing that views uh, airplanes coming in to land or taking off or something like that. Um, it's a really specky piece. So let me just get it out and give you a closer look. Okay. So, this is the real cool part. Check that out. So, they're like four lenses, big ones, and then there's five kind of little lenses. Um, really bizarre uh really awesome i've actually uh looked up the part number and these actually are selling for sixteen thousand dollars us which is about twenty five thousand dollars australian uh quite amazing and it's got here invisible laser radiation do not view directly with optical instruments binocular or telescope or magnifier yeah class one laser pro so I don't really know what that is. And the back, well this is um, pretty nice, pretty cool, really well put together kit. I love this door, the way it opens up. And uh, so it's a four by 20 sort of lens that you uh, look through this side and look at the, um, yeah, out the other end. But there you go, it's a light point um i'll put the part number in the description below uh but so it's got power off and on tracking off and on um made in the usa really cool uh, i believe it's made in california uh i like that little sticker so it's a really beautiful uh piece of kit this and down the bottom yeah it's just got uh probably just a connector where you put the base on the uh, stand but that is super awesome and uh, I, you know I'd love to scrap it out and have a look what's inside but because it's so such an expensive thing um, like imagine like uh, you know give you an example like imagine going and do an e-waste pickup and they say oh yeah take those uh, printers uh, the keyboards and uh, the couple of PCs there Take the coffee machine. Oh, and by the way, take that box with the uh, flight strata optical thing in there. You know, it's only $25,000 in Australia, but uh, yeah, that's e-waste as well. Uh, brand new in box. Um, so it's just a, a beats me. You know, obviously it, it, you know, probably they don't use these anymore or... Uh, um, and it was the last one that they had left over and they just uh, were done with them. But I'm just wondering, so the three questions I've got is, what is it exactly? Like, how does it work? Um, what would be inside, 
you know what makes it work and uh, what do I do with it in the end because uh, you know like I said I really would love to scrap it out but you know um, sixteen thousand dollars US it's still brand new it would just be an awful shame not that you know I I, I, don't, I don't imagine I'd be able to sell this no one would buy this um, but maybe it could be used for something else something interesting um, something uh, domestically imagine putting this out in the front of the house you know mounting it up you no one would break into your house because <laughs> that's a serious uh, a camera it looks like a big camera you know um but you can you know it's kind of like you can you look in this side and you can see you know you'd be able to see out through all those lenses so i'm not really sure what it would do but i know it connects up to all kinds of like it it needs like a switch and uh, connects up to a uh, server or computer system so uh, there's a whole lot more to mounting it you know or getting it to work than just uh it's not a standalone thing it's just uh it's just a lens component but there you go flight strategy um uh, yeah i'd just love to know i'd love to scrap it out i'd love to see what's inside behind those lenses but i fear that um you know there's not going to be anything really to recover out of it you know i'd rather keep it just as an interesting piece rather than um scrapping it out for a bit of scrap metal and wire <laughs> uh because i doubt it there'd be any gold recovery stuff in there there'll be laser things behind this so i'm thinking this would be a really awesome um kit for someone that uh is more knowledgeable and knows what they could do with this sort of thing um that's certainly not me uh but yeah so this video it's just a quick video on what is it and you know i'm really hoping that someone could uh you know let me know on on you know more than just the basic things that i can uh, uh read myself on youtube like or on on uh, google i uh, you know what it's actually meant to do and how it does it and and uh you know just all that kind of thing and and what i could possibly do with it if anything i mean just this door alone the way they've made it and put it together it's all beautiful extruded alley and this really heavy duty uh locking system closing system so obviously it's designed for outdoors so you can just come up and you can view through just through this glass all right well there you go guys so scrapping wise it's not you know the most interesting video but i really wanted to do this what is what is it video um street scrapping is coming up in a couple of weeks time i'm uh in the process of doing a scrap marathon so just doing uh, switches this time, whole heap of switches that I've been getting. So just thought I'd do a scrap marathon on switches and a few oddball things. But yeah, just uh, what an awesome piece of e-waste to get. Um, and uh, yeah, just really looking forward to uh, anyone that's uh, got any idea on it. And uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, um, yeah, it's you know got the box and everything ready to go so i could even ship it to someone if someone wanted to pay a decent amount for it um but i, I just can't get over it being uh, sixteen thousand dollars and it's still brand new in box pretty amazing uh little thing um so just go for a little walk with the camera on tripod yeah so i, I just um I did a, a a new pickup that um it's in this it's also i've talked about it on in the uh, uh scrap marathon video so i've got a new client a really interesting client uh getting a lot of you know flat screen tvs um what they are is they're a uh, a rubbish kind of removal 
place and because you can't get rid of e-waste in landfill anymore here in Australia it's against the law so now they've uh, they separate their e-waste and they don't know what else they can do with it so they've called me to come pick it up some of these TVs are busted um, but I've been yeah I, I did a huge pickup yesterday and I got another one to, uh, next week to uh, finish off the uh, bin a lot of vacuum cleaners though but that's what you get with domestic I did get a lot of laptops and uh, a few PCs and CRT TVs and you know just what you expect from rubbish removal this whole tub here is uh, all their stuff as well so a lot of phones cable uh, all kinds of things modems uh, a few interesting bits and pieces but i did get a a, a stack of about who oh, about 30 odd uh laptops um and a lot of them are, are ibm or well lenovo laptops but they're i5s so i got some really good laptops out of it just didn't get many pcs this time but anyway that's uh another story for another time there you go guys So there we have it. Let us know, guys, if you uh, know anything about it. Flight Strata G. That's the part number there. Hope that was a little bit of fun. Just an interest one. What is it? Let us know. Keep scrapping. Have fun. And I'll catch you uh, next time, guys.